Today's lesson is Latina scream queen Jenna Ortega takes Hollywood by storm. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger, and I'm Kiki. And today we're going to continue talking about Jenna Ortega. She is an actress, but she's known for starring in thrillers and scary movies. And she also has Latina heritage. I guess I should say Latino heritage, but she is a Latina because she is female from that background. Her parents are from Mexico and Puerto Rico, respectively. Right, and she is a Screen queen right now, and she's taking Hollywood by storm because right now most of the horror and thriller movies that we see, she's pretty much starring in a lot of them. Indeed. So if you like to watch scary movies and you've seen a lot of them, Netflix or wherever, or even at the movie theater, then you probably know who we're talking about. And we're going to continue talking about her today. We did talk a little bit about her background. She grew up in California. She's bilingual. She speaks English and Spanish. And her mother helped her land some roles. Eventually, she got some really great roles in these horror movies, and she has become known as Hollywood's Scream Queen. Let's find out some more things about her in today's lesson. Let's listen to the first part, and then we'll discuss it. Despite her undeniable success, Ortega initially found it difficult to find parts that suited her. As a Latina, she was often told she didn't have the right look for various roles. Growing up, she struggled with her confidence because she looked different from the girls she saw in TV shows and movies. She even recalls wanting to dye her hair blonde to look like Cinderella. Today, though, she takes pride in her heritage and advocates for greater diversity in Hollywood. 大家好，第一部分我们可以看到形容词 undeniable， 它指的是不可否认的或是毋庸置疑的。例如 ，The genius of Sarah's science fair project was undeniable. Sarah 科展计划的天才程度是无可否认的。或者 It was undeniable that the children playing with matches had started the fire. 不可否认，那场火是孩子们玩火柴引起的。接下来我们看到副词 initially， 意思是最初或是开始。举例来说 ，Emily initially came to Paris to study French. Emily 最初是来巴黎学法语。又或者说 ，Initially she enjoyed living in the country, but then the loneliness got to her. 起初，他很喜欢住在乡下，但后来他开始觉得寂寞。另外，这个字去掉字尾 ly， 就会变成动词 initial， 它有最初的或是开始的意思。例如 ，The dress's initial sales were good， but then sharply dropped。这件洋装一开始销量还不错，但后来就急剧下滑了。或是 ，Jamie's initial impression of the restaurant was that it was too fancy， but it turned out to be quite affordable。Jamie 对那间餐厅的第一印象是太昂贵，结果它相当平价。再来，我们看到单字 confidence， 它是名词，指的是信心、自信或是信任。例如 ，Taking a public speaking class helped Wayne build his confidence。参加公开演说课程帮助 Wayne 建立自信心。或是 ，Chris lacks confidence， so he doesn't often speak up in class。Chris 缺乏自信。所以他不常在班上开口发言。另外，补充这个词的形容词 confident，c o n f i d e n t confident。例如 ，Angie is usually very shy， but she seems more confident recently。Angie 通常很害羞，但她最近似乎比较有自信。再举一个例子 ，Ramona was confident that her answers on the test were correct。Ramona 有信心，她考试写的答案是正确的。接下来我们介绍片语 take pride in 加名词或是动词 ing， 表示以点点点为傲或是自豪。例如 ，My mother took pride in my high marks and told the whole family about them. 我考了高分，妈妈非常引以为傲，而且她还告诉全家族这件事。或是 ，Laurel takes pride in her volunteer work for the Red Cross. Laurel 对于自己在红十字会当义工而感到自豪。Okay, we begin our lesson today with the first part. It says, despite her undeniable success, 
Ortega initially found it difficult to find parts that suited her. So here we've got the word despite, and that just means even though, even though she had this great success, this undeniable success, still it's kind of hard to believe that at first or initially she found it difficult to find parts that were suitable for her. Maybe she's found some parts that were stereotyped roles for Latinas or something like that. But yes, indeed, initially or at the beginning of her career, she did find it difficult to find proper roles. Right. And here we see the word undeniable. Undeniable means that nobody can argue with it. She's been so successful, nobody can argue because we are seeing her on our movie screens, on Netflix all the time. So it's undeniable. You can't disagree. You can't argue with the fact that somebody is being so good at this or it's an undeniable fact. When something is a fact and it's been proven, you just have no other way to disprove it or to argue with it. It's undeniable. Right. So perhaps a reporter has done some investigative reporting and found out that, hey, this politician has ties to the underworld and there's undeniable evidence that this politician is taking money from mob bosses. OK, that's an example here. But in any case, she does have this undeniable success. Indeed, she is successful. You have to admit it. You cannot deny that she has this success. But initially, she found it difficult to land proper parts. Initially just means at the beginning. Initial is a noun and an adjective, but here we're using it as an adverb because she found it difficult at the beginning. So initially she found it difficult to find parts that suited her. And as a Latina, she was often told she didn't have the right look for various roles. That probably meant they wanted a white girl to star in those movies. But since she was Latina, she's a brown person and she has black hair probably. And therefore she was told, well, we're not looking for your type of person in this movie. We're looking for somebody more fair skinned. Yeah. And also growing up, she struggled with her confidence because she looked different from the girls she saw in TV shows and movies. Jenna Ortega, her facial features, it's really unique because of her unique heritage, her Mexican and Puerto Rican roots. So her eyes and her mouth, her facial features are really different from what people are used to seeing on television because maybe we are so used to seeing blonde hair, blue eyed girls on TV, we don't see a lot of girls that are dark haired and have really big eyes and very unique lips. So it was really hard for her when she was growing up because she didn't really have a lot of confidence. So when you're confident, you are really strong and really proud of who you are, that you're not scared to do things because you have all this confidence, okay? So confidence is just to have the bravery or the courage to do something without having to worry about what people are thinking about or, you know, what people are saying about you. You have this confidence in you. Right. So confidence is the noun, basically your belief in yourself. You have good self-esteem. And she struggled with her confidence because she was having difficulty finding roles. All her friends and her parents told her she was very talented, but she wasn't getting good roles. So it wasn't good for her confidence. And that's because she didn't look right for the part, at least according to the criteria that the studios were looking for. And then it goes on to say she even recalls wanting to dye her hair blonde to look like Cinderella. Okay, so if you dye your hair or if you dye anything, you change it to a different color, usually using some kind of chemical solution, okay? When I was in high school, I uh, made t-shirts. I dyed t-shirt using dye that you could buy at the grocery store. I made lots of tie-dye shirts just for fun. And here she thought, hmm, I'm going to change the color of my hair. I'm going to dye my hair blonde so that I can look like Cinderella. So Cinderella is known for her blonde hair, her platinum blonde, golden, silky hair. So 
she wanted to look like Cinderella, so she wanted to dye her hair blonde. So blonde is just to have golden hair, and usually this comes from Scandinavian heritage. So this was embedded in their DNA. They naturally have this blonde hair. But we'll see that because of popular culture, a lot of people see blonde hair on TV. So you see people of all sorts of ethnicity. Everyone just thinks, "Oh, blonde hair is really cool, so I want to dye my hair blonde." I should mention also that the word "blonde" here is spelled with an e. You could also spell it without the e, but、uh, since this word comes from French, we have to follow French grammar rules. So if you're talking about a woman with this type of hair, then you spell it with an e. If you're talking about a man with this type of hair, then you don't spell it with the e at the end there. And of course. She's female, so we're describing her as blonde with an E. And I guess, according to Disney's depiction of Cinderella, Cinderella had golden blonde hair. Today, though, she takes pride in her heritage and advocates for greater diversity in Hollywood. So yes, indeed, she's finally been able to get some roles, and she no longer struggles with confidence. She's proud of who she is. So we say she takes pride in her heritage. We could also say she's proud of her heritage. She does not feel ashamed about who she is. And when you're taking pride in something, you're. Self-esteem also grows, and so your confidence grows as well. And when you have confidence, you feel good about yourself. So when you're doing the things that you love, for example, for her, it's acting. So now she has confidence because she has finally accepted that she's unique, she's special because of her heritage. So she takes pride in that. And here we have the word advocates because when we watch movies and television, we see so many stereotypes. Types. People just see the typical Asian person in the movies. She's a scientist or a doctor, and the cool girl. She's always the blonde girl. But we really want to try to change that type of stereotype in popular media. So a lot of actors they're really trying to advocate for diversity in Hollywood. So they're really trying to promote change in Hollywood by speaking out about their differences, by speaking out about how proud they are in their different. Different heritage. So, advocating is to be able to speak out about a certain cause or to speak for something that they really believe in. Yep, that's the verb to advocate. And if you're a person who does that, then you are an advocate. There's a slight difference in pronunciation there. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson for today. Here's the second part. Let's listen. Ortega's newest role as Wednesday Adams in the Netflix series Wednesday combines her Latina identity with her love of horror. The part seems tailor-made for Ortega, who also comes from a Latin family and has a dark sense of humor. Ortega took the iconic role seriously, prepping for it by studying old Adams family comics and films, and even learning some German and cello. Her hard work has paid off. The series has been a gigantic hit, and her acting has earned her a Golden Globe nomination. 最后第二部分，我们看到形容词 gigantic， 它的意思是巨大的或是庞大的。例如 ，Becky baked a gigantic cake for her daughter's birthday party. Becky 为她女儿的生日派对烤了一个超大的蛋糕。又或者说。Raymond had built a gigantic sandcastle at the beach, but it was washed away by a wave. Raymond 在海滩上盖了一座超大沙堡，不过被一道浪冲垮。另外，补充一个同义字 ，colossal, c o l o s s a l, colossal. 例如 ，The movie pulled in a colossal amount at the box office. 那部电影在票房上赚进庞大金额。再举一个例子。Visitors arriving in the city passed under a colossal arch. 抵达该市的游客从一座巨大的拱门下穿过。Okay, let's talk about Jenna Ortega's new roles here. Her newest role as Wednesday Adams 
in the Netflix series Wednesday combines her Latina identity with her love of horror. Now, of course, over the years we've had lots of movies called The Adams Family. That's based on an old TV show that I saw when I was growing up. I saw the reruns, of course. The Adams Family. Da 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 da. And I guess that's one of your favorites, uh, right? Uh, yes, Kiki? it is. So not only did you watch the reruns, I watched the reruns too. Exactly. Who is your favorite? Uncle Fester or Thing or Thing. Pugsley? Thing is definitely my favorite. Thing. Just the hand that's sticking up out of a box but of course later on they made it into movies and now we've got a tv show or a series on netflix and it's called wednesday wednesday is kind of the strange girl in that family she's a little unusual and that's her latest role she is wednesday adams in that tv series and the part seems tailor-made for ortega who also comes from a latin family and has a dark sense of humor. So we know that there's been a lot of remakes about the Adams Family, but this time Wednesday is specifically focused on the character Wednesday Adams. So we see her, she goes to a new school and all the things that she has to do. And the part seems tailor made for Ortega. It seems like this is especially made just for her. It's measured to be created to be just for Jenna because this role is so unique. It fits everything that she likes. It's of the horror genre. She's Latina. We know that mom and dad in Adam's family, they are of Latin heritage. So this role is really tailor-made for Jenna. Exactly. It's perfect for her. And that's because she has a dark sense of humor and she comes from a Latin family. And Ortega took the iconic role seriously, prepping for it by studying old Adams Family comics and films and even learning some German and cello. So if something's iconic, it sort of stands for something. It is a symbol of something. And it's an iconic role because Wednesday Adams has been around for a long time. If you mention this to people, they'll know who you're talking about. And she took this role seriously. She did not think it was a joke. Right. And when you take the role seriously, she really wants to work hard to become the character. So by prepping for it, so she prepared herself to become Wednesday Adams. She looked at the old Adams Family comics and she even learned German and some cello so she can really become the character. She can really become Wednesday Adams. And her hard work has paid off. Her hard work has produced results. And the series has been a gigantic hit. It hasn't been just a regular hit, but it's been a huge, colossal, gigantic hit. Gigantic just means really, really big, like a giant. And her acting has earned her a Golden Globe nomination. Nomination is when somebody suggests your name as a possible winner for an award. And the Golden Globes, of course, usually occur before the Oscars. Okay, that brings us to the end of the second part of our lesson for today. Let's move on now to the third and final part. Going forward, Ortega is set to star in the thriller Finest Kind, step back into her role as Tara Carpenter in Scream 6, and take on her most complex character yet in the drama Miller's Girl. Clearly this young Latina actress is taking Hollywood by storm. Okay, so of course, Jenna Ortega is still quite young. She still has a lot of time in front of her. So going forward with her career, she is set to star in the thriller Finest Kind, step back into a role as Tara Carpenter in Scream 6, and take on her most complex character yet in the drama Miller's Girl. That's a pretty long sentence here, but we're talking about what she's prepared to do. She's set to star in a new movie. She's also set to step back into a previous role as Tara Carpenter, and then she's also set to take on her most complex character yet in yet another drama film, Miller's Girl. Right, and then she's going to take on the most complex character yet. 
So to take on something means that something really challenging is up ahead. So you're really going to take this task on. So you're really going to spend a lot of your effort to try to accept this challenge. So when you take on something, you take on a fight. You're really putting yourself into this new challenge that's up ahead. Right. You might take somebody on in a competition, for example. Hey, I'm pretty good at tennis, and I know you are. So I would like to take you on in a tennis match to see who can play tennis better. And so she's going to accept this challenge. It's a complex character. It's not a simple character, and it's in a drama film entitled Miller's Girl. And we wrap things up by saying clearly this young Latina actress is taking Hollywood by storm, as we mentioned at the beginning of our article. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Let's listen now to our Chinese teacher, Hanny. Wednesday Adams 那文中他用到tailor-made来形容是量身定做的特质的。那我们来学一下tailor当名词呢，它是指裁缝师、男装的裁缝师。那么当动词的时候，可以表达材质啊，或者是定做、定做衣服的那种动作。好，那它可以引
Discussion starter starts now. Here's our discussion starter for today. The question is, what are some possible benefits of the greater diversity in Hollywood that Jenna Ortega is seeking to promote? Well, we see that in Hollywood, in film and in television, a lot of people are trying to look for more diversity. Because like we mentioned early on, what we saw on TV, it's very stereotypical. But now we're starting to see that there's more voices coming out to tell their stories. When we have more diversity, we can tell more different stories. We can tell points of view from different people, you know, and it makes the storytelling a lot more interesting. Interesting. Indeed. Well, among the possible benefits of greater diversity are different kinds of films, different kinds of stories, and different kinds of actors and actresses. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of the same old plot lines in Hollywood movies. They're always these big blockbusters with lots of action, or they're superhero movies. I think I've had enough of those. I'd like to see some traditional stories that uh, Hollywood could produce about things that happen all over the world and not just in the United States. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I am Kiki. See, See you, you next time. time.